All right, guys, it's Wednesday night. We decided to go to a drive-in theater. And as you can see, we got here just a bit early. Not a whole lot of people here yet. We're going to see um, Mission Impossible. And then we're going to leave this theater and I think go over to number two, which is Ant-Man. And uh, so this is the view that we have. It's going to be fun. A few people ahead of us which is fine, but uh, yeah, I decided to show you what we're doing. This is what it looks like inside. So I'm curious, how many of you guys have never been to a drive-in movie theater? <clears throat> and when was the last time you were in a drive-in movie theater, if you've ever been to one? Uh, I'll try and show you some sites when my family's not around, because as you know, Carol and Megan don't like being in it. And plus it's music playing, so. It is the 6th. It is Thursday the 6th. Good day, YouTubers, and welcome to the vlog. Domic Nation, just for you, crew. Uh, today is August the 6th, Thursday. We leave tomorrow uh, to go to Galveston, Texas. We leave from Toronto. We arrive in, at George Bush Airport, which is just north of Houston. Then we are being picked up by the Game Con, being driven down to the Galveston, registering, meeting up with Dame and his wife, possibly going out to dinner, possibly reviewing it. It might be a review, it might not. Don't hold your breath. Uh, I'm going to try and do at least one review with, with Dame down there and plus at least one of my own or two if I have the time. I might not have the time, but I'll definitely be vlogging uh, as much as I can through the GameCon, showing you what the GameCon is all about. And I uh, hope you guys share it, like it and talk. Put stuff in the description. I'm going to try and meet as many uh, gaming YouTubers as I can. Uh, so there you go, that's what we're doing right now. Carol's all packed, as you can see her luggage is right there, right there. Uh, she bought the same, I stole her bag the last few trips that I've gone on. I stole her bag because it's just a perfect uh, carry-on size. And uh, so she went out and bought another one because I've been using her so much and saying how, how awesome of a bag it is. So she went and bought another one, so we have two. Now we're twinsies. Uh, Wendy's update, da da da, back to me. Uh, Wendy's just emailed me now and said that they're sending some Canadian cards. Yes, Canadian. Uh, so I'm not sure how many, she didn't say how many Canadian cards. I'm hoping, uh, at least 10, $10 cards. That's what I asked for. Uh, if we do that, we'll have 20 for the Americans, 10 for the Canadians. Awesome. I'm so happy. Thank you very much, Wendy's. Uh, I can't wait to send these out to you guys and and get a nice little buzz going on with all these people uh, winning stuff. I'm glad we're not going to have like, you know, a first place, a second place and a third place. We're going to have 30 people that are going to win the exact same thing. Awesome. Uh, OK, so it's a little bit of a mess over here, but it's not really. This is our new comforter. We just haven't put the comforter thingy on it to cover and uh, because Carol just bought a brand new king size bed that we've been sleeping on. I think it's a, either a double or a queen size bed for the last 21 years. And uh, it's time to time to move up. And uh, it's a nice bed. Like when either I get out of bed or she gets out of bed, the other person does not feel the other person getting out of bed, which is what the other one was about. So I, I just want to make sure I'm covering everything. Oh, I got some fan mail. Check it out. We've got an awesome letter from a 19 year old guy in uh, Aurora, Ontario, and he sent me two coffees from uh, McDonald's. Very nice. Thank you very much, Sam. Really appreciate that. Uh, and then Julia from Norway sent all these yummy goodness from Norway. That looks like fishy candy. Candy that tastes like lobster. Lobster candy. Anyway, thank you very much, Julie. Thank you very much, Sam. I really appreciate that. I'm not sure when I'm gonna have time to review that. Uh, I still need to review two other things here. Uh, falling behind rapidly. Let me turn my camera monitor around so I can see what I'm shooting. Uh, so today is packing, making sure I have my 
the passport. Gotta have the passport, make sure I have my money, I'm gonna have to make sure all my chargers, laptop, all my essentials. Uh, right now I'm putting up um, another gaming video for my, my gaming fans and uh, hopefully you guys like that. It's called The Gold Rush. It's episode 43, not bad. And uh, yeah, so there's, I'll show you the kitties. Is it kitty time? Might be. Ninja. Hi, Ninja. You're looking good today, buddy. Oh, yeah. Keeping Louie and, and Sunny on their toes. There's Louie. Louie, say hi. Say hello, YouTubers. Louie, say hello, YouTubers. Tubers. There's Sunny the princess. There she is. Sexy. Sexy kitty. Say hi. You can close your eyes. Hello. Sunny. Hello. Oh boy. Where's Sam? Let's go see Sam. And there's Sam. Oh, he was eating in the, in the bedroom because we got to keep the food over there because the kitties like to tease him and pretend they're taking his food. Are they taking your food? Are the kitties taking your food? Are you going to miss us when we go to Galveston, Texas? Are you gonna miss us? Oh, yes you are. Do you want a treat? Speak. Nice. I also wanted to give you an update. Did I say that right? I think I did. I also want to give you an update uh, from Simon who sent me $200 to do the 100 Mc, uh, Chicken McNugget Challenge. Uh, I just, haven't, I just don't have time at the moment to do it, but I've told him and he's really, really patient and he's already sent me the $200, which I said I would double up. Uh, so we're gonna, be, we're gonna be giving $400 to the food bank, which is absolutely amazing. Um, so, I, and so I did a little research. Uh, so the LA Beast did 110 in around 30 minutes. His computer didn't start, so I don't think we really know exactly how long it took him. It doesn't really matter, he did 110. Matt Stoney, did 120 nuggets in 14 minutes and 33 seconds. Uh, Natter did 150 in 59 minutes. And Furious Pete did the 100 in 1928. And he wasn't, he said right off the top, as long as he did it with under the 20 minutes, he didn't care. And so he just, he was talking the whole time. So he wasn't really, uh, competing he just wanted to make sure he got in and under the 20 minutes so i guess the the goal is 100 nuggets i think the original thing was 120 in, in 20 minutes so i'm gonna see what i can do uh so stay tuned to that i'm not sure when it's gonna go up uh i have the wendy's thing to do i have the uh, 100 ch chicken nugget challenge to do and I'm definitely going to finish it. It's, uh, I've watched all three of these guys do it. I know I'm not a competitive eater, but I can eat a lot of food. Uh, it just might take me a bit longer. Uh, so thank you very much for watching. Uh, I guess we'll do happy birthday shout outs. And now it's time for happy birthday shout outs for Thursday, August 6th. And we have Michael, Parkdale, Malgar, Milo's, Travis, Alexander, Malcolm, uh, Danielle, Stephen, and Gordon. Happy birthday, everybody. I hope you have an awesome day. Let me know in the comments below what you're having or what you are what you had for your birthday dinner or are you going out for your birthday dinner? Let me know in the comments below. Happy birthday. Talk to you guys later. Bye.